Hey, it's Angie with Heart Wellness Coaching, and I want to share with you how easy it can be to throw together a Buddha bowl. If you've never heard of a Buddha bowl, it's a kind of an umbrella term for a complete um, whole food meal in a bowl. So it typically consists of a protein, um, oftentimes some kind of a starch, like a root vegetable or maybe a, an, a grain of some kind, which I don't usually do in mine, um, and then a variety of plant foods and fresh herbs typically, and, and oftentimes there'll be some kind of a dressing. And so today I'm throwing together a Buddha bowl and it's going to be, it's gonna consist of just things that I generally always have in my fridge. So they're, they can, you can get really creative with these. You can also um, just kind of have your standard ingredients that you gen, generally have in the refrigerator and, and throw them together and it always tastes amazing. So today what I'm doing is I'm gonna have some leftover pork chop that I have defrosted here, which I'll slice up. I'll have shredded carrot, I'll have some finely sliced fennel, some finely sliced um, cabbage. I'm gonna probably use a half or a third of the sweet potato. Um, I'll have some um, finely sliced cucumber, very finely sliced zucchini. Um, I'll top it with some fresh cilantro and green onion. And then I will um, put, as I always try to include in all of my meals, some kind of a fermented uh, food. So I'm gonna use this wild brine um, uh, kraut that has red beet in it and it's absolutely delicious. This is one of my favorite brands for a uh, fermented food and they've got a bunch of different flavors of kraut and kimchi. So I highly recommend checking this out. Um, and then I'm going to make my own dressing out of tahini and miso. These are great staples to just have on hand all the time. Um, they make a really great dressing. There'll be a little white wine vinegar in that. There'll be a little Dijon mustard, lemon, and garlic, and probably some salt and pepper. So um, I, you, you basically need a knife, a cutting board, a, a thing to shred your carrots. Um, oh, and I'll also have my power greens. Um, this typically goes in every Buddha bowl because it's just easy and your bowl. So, I mean, it really is not complicated. So um, I really encourage uh, exploring the Buddha bowl idea because you can get really creative with them. You can also, you know, again, just keep it um, pretty simple and get a wide variety of plant-based foods and nutrition. Okay, so that took me about 20 minutes and from just having all the ingredients like out and ready to go, um, about 20 minutes to get everything chopped up and um, prepped and ready to assemble. Um, I um, did have the dressing actually pre-made. So you can make that miso tahini uh, lemon garlic dressing ahead of time and it keeps really well in the fridge for a while. Um, so I just, I recommend making a big, um, a big thing of it because you'll, you'll go through it. You'll, you'll love it. It's really delicious dressing. So that was ready to go. Otherwise it took me about 20 minutes. Um, I've got the um, carrots shredded. I finally sliced up the cabbage, the fennel, the cucumber, zucchini, um, the, the fresh green onions and cilantro. I um, sliced up the leftover pork chop and I just um, quickly sauteed it with some sesame oil and coconut aminos. So it'll just add a little bit of flavor and I've already got the greens in the bottom of my bowl. So now is the time where I will assemble, I'll put the um, sweet bit or the, the yams in the bottom and I'm just gonna use just a couple. I don't need, it doesn't need a lot. So it's still gonna be pretty low carb. Um, I'll do one more little, small little piece. So, um, so sweet potato greens and then I'll throw the sliced up pork chops in there and the zucchini and the cucumber. the purple cabbage, the fennel, the onion or the carrots, throw the green onions on top. It's gonna to be so delicious. The cilantro. And then I will top that off with this beautiful purple beet sauerkraut. Throw that right on the top. And I'm gonna take my dressing 
And the, you know, the, all of the foods that are in here are so, they're just, they're all so flavorful on their own. You don't really need that much dressing. Um, so that was about maybe four teaspoons that I put on there and that will be plenty for me. And then with the, with the sauerkraut. So isn't that beautiful? It's super colorful. Um, tons of plant-based foods in there. It was just basically a leftover pork chop that I um, had frozen. Super easy. So this is a really great way to um, throw together pretty quickly a healthy meal. A lot of the stuff you can prep ahead of time. You can have shredded cabbage. You can have your cucumbers, you know, sliced and ready to go in a container. Um, have your meats pre-sliced and cooked. Um, I don't like to shred the carrots ahead of time because they get kind of brown. Um, but a lot of stuff can be pre-chopped. So this is um, a, a pretty healthy, tasty uh, idea for a bootable. And um, so let, comment below if you um, have tried something like this. Let me know if you try it, how you like it. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.